Hello everyone, Victor Tanzig here, and welcome to Greens and Salutations. Okay, let's get stuck right into it and discuss the two videos that I released on my channel earlier this week, as they certainly were sharply contrasting pieces in terms of tone and content. I'll begin with the second video, lest we forget, which was kind of a spur of the moment thing. It was something I decided to make on that very day, as it was Anzac Day, which is pretty much sacred here in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, it's a day in which we honour the legacy of the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps soldiers. Uh, if you guys want to know more, just um, do a Google search. There's a lot of history and facts behind it. Uh, too much for me to put into this video here. And my Lest We Forget video was just my small way of um, paying tribute to this legacy. And I guess also simultaneously honoring those who are currently serving in the armed forces. And given the comments that have been posted on that video of people from all over the world paying not only their respects to the Anzacs, but also to their own uh, members of the armed forces, I think I've succeeded in that. It's just so, it's, yeah, it's just really, really uh, um, enlightening to know that um, there are so many people out there who um, praise and respect their own members of the armed forces. And also just want to um, um, address something else as well. A couple of people also posted comments um, on that video asking if I was all right, like if there had been some sort of tragedy or anything, given that um, my video was obviously um, a lot darker than anything I've done before. Personally, personally, I would have thought it was more solemn, but I completely, completely understand why people might think I was depressed or something, or if there had been a death in the family or whatever. And to those people who expressed their concern, thank you very much. I sincerely appreciate uh, your interest in my welfare. But no, there was no, there was no tragedy. There was no depression. It was just something I decided to make because. I was feeling particularly patriotic. Okay, now we'll discuss the first video I released, Milestone 1. Uh, I tell you what, I would love to have seen uh, uh, the reaction of people who came across it, like uh, wondering, what am I watching? Why is this here? And to those of you who've been, who are fans of my series, I would love to have been able to hear your thoughts like asking like were you wondering is there something wrong with Victor did he have an aneurysm or something but no uh, I just decided to make that because um, I've always wanted to do a comedy themed Thomas the Tank Engine sketch and you know crossing it over with um, my personal favorite Monty Python sketch was just too good to, was just um, a, a possibility that I couldn't ignore and also, I wanted to uh, utilize the Wendell model that um, I had just gotten, uh, courtesy of Mainland Studios, the uh, the man who um, made it. Uh, so if you're watching, mate, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it, your generosity. And yeah, it's just such a beautiful model. And I thought, okay, I've got to use it in, in some way. Uh, yeah, so I think my... Milestone video came together really, really well. Like, uh, if the comments are any indication, you guys clearly thought it was funny, or the, or at the very least, enjoyable. And yeah, as it said at the end of that video, it was made um, uh, as a way of saying thank you to you guys for 500,000 views on my channel. I think about 125,000 of those views are actually on my ghost video. Seriously, why is that one so popular? Well, in any case, um, I guess also this might be a good point to uh, make an announcement as well. Uh, if you guys noticed the title of my, that video, you would have noticed it said Milestone 1. So, does that mean there, there will be more? Yes, there will. Because, uh, backtracking a little bit here... In my questions and answer video, uh, I admitted that there were a few questions that I chose not to answer 
for various reasons. And I distinctly remember one of the questions was, I can't remember the exact wording, but it was something to the effect of, would you ever make other videos than stories of Sodor or Greens and Salutations? I didn't want to answer that because I didn't want to commit to anything in case uh, that idea didn't work or it um, was a bad idea or whatever. And when I hit 500,000 views, I realized something. I thought, you know what? Why don't I make these sort of videos as my way of saying thank you to all those who've who watched and subscribe and whatever. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do going forward. Every time my channel hits um, a certain milestone, I'm going to release a video in these in uh, a similar vein to the first one. Or maybe not, or maybe not in a similar vein. It could be comedy based, it could be something entirely different. And I'm going to do that, and I decided to do that for um, a couple of reasons. Uh, first reason was I, just, I decided that I'm, I need a, a more substantial way of thanking you guys for uh, your, your support, for your dedication, and whatnot. And I think if I were to constantly release um, a video saying, Thank you very much, guys. Like I did when I hit 1,000 or 2,000 subscribers. It'd probably get pretty hollow after a while, even if my gratitude would be sincere in every single one of those potential videos. And yeah, like I say, I think you guys deserve something more substantial. And another reason is because since season one of the Stories of Sodor is ending this this week... I have to give you guys some incentive to keep coming back, like uh, to keep like um, sharing my, sharing my videos, to keep uh, liking them, subscribing them, whatever. And I figure, you know, this might be a good way to tantalize you guys to keep you around. And I guess also maybe the final reason why I decide to do these sort of milestone videos is because as much fun as I have making the Stories of Sodor episodes and these Greetings and Salutations video, I do long for a change, like um, something to break up the routine, so to speak. And as I'm sure you can probably tell in my first milestone video, I certainly had a lot of fun with it. Like, uh, to me, I don't think there's anything more funny than the Australian stereotype. And just on that note, I don't think I've ever known anyone who was ever offended by it. But uh, yeah, so I, I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I guess also it's a, another way to um, test out my creative side, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's all I got to say about those two videos. So uh, let me let me know in the comments if you think um, my milestone idea is a good one or a bad one or whatever. And you know what? Maybe even leave your own suggestions down there of what I might what I might do. All right. So jumping back to what I was just saying there um, about um. Uh, season one of the stories of Sodor ending this week. Yes, it is. Uh, it, the episode in question will be titled Luck. Uh, so speculate a way as to what that's going to mean. Uh, and then, of course, also there's my behind the scenes video to look forward to. I was going to release that one next week, but I've decided I'm going to release that on Sunday. So this Saturday, I'll release the final episode, then I will, on Sunday I'll release the behind the scenes video, and then uh, next week I'll do one final greens and salutations video just to sort of tie things up, and then yeah, we'll go from there. So, uh, so I guess that's all I got to say really. Uh, so for this week's question, I want to post you guys. Given that uh, Anzac Day has just gone by, um, I want to ask you guys. What's your favorite holiday? Uh, yeah, it can be anything. It can be a public holiday, bank holiday, religious, uh, secular, whatever. Uh, sound off your uh, favorite holiday in the comments. Um, and if you want, include a reason why. Uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say. So um, thank you very much for watching and have a good one.